Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of the $10 million challenge. Today, we are going to work on bailing up some silage bales. So we have a tractor over there on field 14, he's working on plowing. A tractor over there on field 12, working on planting corn. So while they're off doing that, we are just going to go bail up some silage bales. We need to... We still need to uh, fertilize that field again after it gets plowed, but because fertilizer spreaders have a really wide working width and plows do not, um, I need to wait until the plowing is basically done, if not completely done. Then we'll fertilize it again and then we will plant it. This field 15 here is already planted and I did actually forget to plow it. Guys, we're here. You guys probably saw that. Um, hold on. I hate missing stuff going around corners. It's annoying to me. Instead of driving around the corner, since I can't stand missing stuff like this, I should probably just do a circle like this. And also try not to run into buildings as a as a general rule. Try not to run into our buildings. There we go. If you just don't turn quite so sharp, you usually can get the baler to pick it up. But I just really don't like missing stuff. Wow, we are almost, almost have a bale already. Well, I shouldn't, shouldn't quite say that. Almost is a loose term when these balers start beeping. They start beeping at like 70%, so you still have a ways to go to actually get a bale. And 98, 99, 100%. Unload the bale. There we go. Nice grass bale. This is mainly, you know, we got the equipment to make silage bales now. So I'm sitting here thinking, why not? We really should be taking advantage of it, especially now that we have the auto stacker. Why not take advantage of it? So, silage bales can make us a decent amount of money. We're gonna we're gonna use it, utilize it. And I want to check real quick. I don't know how exactly how much mowing we're going to do, but if we go back here, turn on grass. This field is still growing. However, like that little small area that we mowed, that could be mowed again, and bailed up and then this whole area and all around this field so we're probably going to do quite a bit here uh, trying to get some silage bales start making some money off of our own farm stuff instead of always going out and doing contracting we've been spending lots of episodes contracting and trying to get this equipment so I'm ready to I'm ready to start utilizing it even if it is actually less effective in terms of money per hour that we bring in I still would like to do some of our own stuff really if you just want to make money as fast as possible in this game just do contract I'm pretty sure buying the fields and working them yourself is less effective monetarily than just doing contracting on those fields pretty sure you can earn way more doing contracting uh, especially given the price of the fields you have to earn so much money just to be able to buy the fields and then the money you get off of harvesting them and stuff like that is not I mean it's good but I'm pretty sure you can make more money just doing contracting and then you never have to worry about buying the field in the first place but 
our concern is not just to make money. We're not trying to make money necessarily as quickly as possible. I don't want it to take forever to get to our goal, but I do want this series to be somewhat interesting. So we can't just do contracting jobs all the time. That will get exceptionally boring very quickly. We've already done enough contracting jobs to last like an entire series. There we go. So that is that portion failed. That field taken care of. Go through here and mow this down and bale it. Go full. Now, I parked that fertilizer spreader in an exceptionally bad spot. That's right in the middle of my mowing space. So... I think we're going to bring the case tractor over and move it. We're going to need the case tractor hooked up to the fertilizer spreader anyway in just a little bit. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and bring it over and move it just so it's out of my way. There we go. That's the one. No, that's the harvester. Uh, he's done. Let's go ahead and bring him back to the farm too. So this field is planted and fertilized, I think, at one level of fertilization right now. And we planted corn in that field. So we should have a nice corn harvest coming up this time. I'm not going to bother putting him away just yet because I don't really want to take the time. I want to have a nice episode full of work this time. There we go. There's the case tractor we're looking for. All right. He is good to go. Move him up here in this field so he's out of my way. And he'll be ready to start fertilizing whenever that guy gets done enough. Uh, let's take a quick look just so we know what's going on. Planted and planted. We planted corn in this field and we planted canola in this field. Uh, what we're going to plant in this field, not 100% sure yet. We may plant something like soybeans. Um, we could do sunflowers as well. Maybe we'll do sunflowers. No, let's do, oh, we don't need anything for straw. So I'm not really going to do wheat or barley. I think we'll do another soybean. No, it's soybeans ready. Maybe I'll bring that other planter over and we'll do sunflowers. I like that idea. We haven't actually planted sunflowers yet. We have some sunflowers because we harvested, we bought field 13 and it was full of sunflowers which we harvested um, but we haven't actually taken sunflowers from an empty field planting and all the way through to harvest so maybe we'll do that which means that cedar that I brought up here no longer needs to be up here Now, you, some of you might wonder why I am cutting the grass when it's at this growth stage, which is the first harvestable growth stage for grass. And I will tell you why. There's really two ways you could, you could look at this or you could kind of plan on doing it. One is to cut it at this growth stage. And then the next time a growth stage updates it will be back at this growth stage again or you can let the growth stage update so that the grass will be at its second harvestable growth stage um, and the theory is or at least the thinking behind it would be if you wait till the grass has grown up into its next growth stage you would have twice as much grass meaning twice as much harvest you only have to drive over the field one time but to get twice as much however I actually did the testing on this to see if that was the case because waiting for it to 
go to the next growth stage is only beneficial if you do get twice as much. And what I found was you don't get twice as much. You get a little under twice as much. So if you wait till grass goes to its next growth stage, you could actually be harvesting more grass by cutting it twice in its first, first growth stage, which is why I am cutting this grass in its first growth stage because I want to maximize my grass harvest turning it into silage and I know that I will get more mowing it twice in this growth stage than once at the next growth stage hopefully that makes sense to you guys if it doesn't make sense uh, comment and I will try to say it in a more clear way I'm hoping that kind of makes sense Basically, it's better to cut it when it gets to this growth stage right here than it is to wait for it to get to the next one and then try to cut it. I am hitting all of the wrong buttons right now. There we go. So that's why I am doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm guessing some of you will look at it and say, you should have waited till the next growth stage because then you'll get more grass. Well, that's true, you will get more grass for that mowing, but when you compare it to mowing twice at this growth stage, you actually get less. So, Just a little game hint for any of you who have not maybe tried that out. I know there's a lot of things you wonder about in the game, like, well, what is it better to do this or do that? And, Unless you take the time to go through and actually test a lot of these things yourself, it's hard to really know. So, in this case, not every time, but in this case, I've actually done the testing on this one, so I can tell you guys definitively it's better to mow twice in the first grow stage. And we're just going to cruise around our farm, mowing kind of whatever grass we can find to get our hands on. Because... Why not? It's all here. It's all... With the equipment that we have, the more we can use it, the better off we're going to be. So, it's just sitting here waiting to be mowed to turn into hay or silage. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take advantage of it. We should probably check on the sheep at some point as well to see how they're doing. I checked on them in the last episode, I believe, and they were doing all right, so I'm not too worried about them. We had their, at least their food trough full at one point, and that lasts for six days, so they shouldn't be too close to needing anything. We come cut down all these trees, we could We'd have a lot of nice open area to mow. And actually at some point what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to clear a lot of the trees around the farm, at least close to the main farmyard, to open up these grass fields for better mowing. And instead of just taking the logs and selling them, I'm actually going to chip them and make wood chips. Um, this is because I have... Now this one I have not tested myself. I'm trusting someone else's data on this one. But I have read that logs are actually more valuable as wood chips. You make more money off of them as wood chips. Now... Overall, it may not work out better financially for us because you have to we would have to rent the chipper. And it does take a lot more time to turn things into wood chips than it does to just take the logs over to the cell point. So, it, it may not really be when you factor in time and everything like that, it may not actually be better financially. But we haven't done wood chips yet. So I I want to do that at some point and win better than 
when better to do it than when we need to get a bunch of logs out of the way. And we're running over our bale with the mower. Nice. Come on. Pack it up. We are missing lots from all this turning, but that's all, that's all right. We'll either come back and get it, or I will just let it go, which I struggle with. But I will, if I need to. The farm is progressing nicely. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm pretty happy with the way that things are going. We... We're making, we're finally to the point where we are harvesting stuff and, you know, about to make, or close to making money at least. So I'm very, very happy about that. Should always be happy about making money, right? We, ha we haven't actually sold anything, but we're to the point where when it, when the opportunity comes up to be able to sell stuff, we should be in a good position to make a good deal of money. And that's not what I wanted. I forgot to lower the pickup on the baler. If you want your baler to bail anything, make sure that your pickup is lowered. It will have quite the difficult time bailing without that. Alright, there we go. Now we're getting there. Getting things worked out again. Oh, man. There we go. So there is a lot of stuff that we could mow. End up with quite a few bales just from, from doing little things like this. We'll have to see how much we end up with at the at the end of this episode. And uh, given how much time we've been in the episode already, we may not even get all the stuff around the farm mode in this episode. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see where we get to. I haven't been keeping track of how many bales we've made, but I know that we've already put down quite a few. This should pretty much take care of this little bit. I don't think we can really mow much if we go further up the hill. Yeah, see the mower's not really catching that grass. I think what's happening is the mower's getting too far off the ground. It's getting pushed up off the ground or something. It's not registering that it's mowing that. No problem though. We've got plenty of other grass to mow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've gotten used to playing with the more realistic mod and the more realistic mod does want well it does a lot of cool things but there's one really cool thing that it does that I really really like and it changes the way the baler beeping works so that the baler starts beeping oh we need to switch helper C this guy done plowing excellent that means Let's get this guy started off fertilizing again. Um, anyway, sorry, what I was saying was... Should I... Yes. The more realistic mod changes the way the beeping on the balers works a little bit. So that it starts beeping at the same time. 
but it stops beeping when the baler is like 90% full. There we go. So, you know when the baler's beeping at you, you you are about 70% full. Then when it stops beeping at you, you know you're 90% full, which means, you know, it's, you might want to slow down and get ready to unload it. Where in the base game, it doesn't stop beeping at you until you are actually full. So, if I would pay more attention to the display, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I do like that, because then you don't have to watch the display quite so much. You can just keep driving along. Once you hear the beeping stop, then you start paying closer attention. In previous versions of Farm Sim, the balers didn't beep at you quite so early. They start beeping at you when it's 70% full, which is, like, really early to me. Almost annoyingly early. And you have to sit there and listen to the beeping the whole time. Just going to go along real quick. And hit these edges where our worker missed these little bits. Once we do that, we'll go get the other case with the planter. And we'll get him going on planting sunflowers we're gonna do sunflowers we already have the corn header for the combine it'll work on sunflowers so let's just do it Here we go this thing already has 7.1 hours on it we are using this quite heavily I feel like this. There we go. Okay. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it has a transport position. Just have to figure out how to get to it. You have to have it flipped the right way for it to get to transport position, which to me is a little odd, but why can I not lower it or unhook it? Does it have to be? has to be unfolded to be able to unhook it yep okay whatever yep this guy all right we're going to change the seed type to sunflowers and the nice thing about planting sunflowers with this planter now this field will be fully fertilized The other seeder actually doesn't fertilize as it seeds, so we would have had to come back again one more time with the fertilizer spreader to finish off fertilizing this. But with this one, we will be done because he will plant and do the last fertilization stage as he goes. Um, all right, and I am going to just while we're here and already out, I'm going to go move that other planter out of the way. Eventually, we'll need to increase our straw production. But right now, as we don't have anything that needs straw, and we already just bailed up, well, like 22, I think, 22 bales worth of straw, I'm not too concerned about it. Okay. Now, if we take a look at our map, sunflowers in here. This field has been plowed now, finally, and you can see that last strip right there is in the very last stage of fertilization. Perfect. And off we go. Bailing up grass. Love it. We've got lots of activities going on in the farm. Making our money. All working on making money. We are down to under $30,000. That I don't like to see. However, we have, I believe if my calculations are correct, around $170,000 worth of silage. Whenever 
it is done fermenting. So that is going to bring in a ton of money to the farm. We just need it to finish fermenting, which does take a while, especially when you are playing on real time as we currently are. But there's lots of stuff to be done. We've got lots of things we could could do, lots of things to help us make money. And I don't want to miss out on time and opportunities to make money by just fast forwarding all the time. Eventually, we probably will have to fast forward just because we'll want that silage to get done so we can actually sell it. But we'll see. We're going to keep doing things like this and, and other things to help make us money. Maybe we'll cut down the trees and stuff too. And then see where we're at. And if we then we need to fast forward, then we always can. Sometime, we might, today, we might just have to go check on the status of the biogas plant, see where the silage is at, to give us an idea. See, every time there's like a hill, the mower misses some grass. Oh well. Not that worried about it. It's, it's free grass. We never planted it, and we're going to get money from, from harvesting it, so can't complain too much. Once we sell the silage, that should give us enough money to, well, say that. There is something else we need to do that I forgot about. We need to go work on Field 11, because that is the next major purchase that I have planned for the farm. Field 11, we've done quite a bit of contracting work on all with the goal of lowering the price of that field so that we can eventually buy it so of course what do we need to do uh, we need to continue doing some contracting work on there to lower the price so that when we do get the money from the silage we should be able to buy that field I want to do all the work I can so that when we buy that field, it has whatever crop in it. Well, actually, I'll have to go look. Depends on what crop is in it. But if it's got a good crop that we can actually make, that we can harvest without buying more equipment, then I want to buy it while it is harvest ready or at least fully fertilized so that we get to harvest all the crop from that field and benefit from the money, just like we did on field 13. There, we, I believe, fertilized it at least once in the contracting work that we did. But that means we still need to fertilize it two more times. So I think maybe what we'll do is finish going around this. Whoa. Finish going around this field, bailing up grass, and then maybe we'll go do that contracting job real quick. Unload. Glad the bale came out when it did. That way it's not in the way of the tractor as he comes around here. We gotta get out of the way of the tractor. Did this guy finish up fertilizing? Yes, he did. Like, just as I said that, I think he finished up. This is a great way to do grass bales for silage you don't have to come back and wind row it or anything like that just drive along with the front mower and the baler right behind you Ooh, look at that our grass field right over there just grew that's what I like seeing now it is in like the probably with the second or something growth stage grass is a little weird it doesn't really follow the growth stages like all the other crops do but that is in a unmowable state I believe 
it's like right after we mow it that's what it would look like so we're gonna have to wait one more growth stage update for that to become mowable but that's good it's finally progressed it doesn't just look like a dirt field anymore we also then I believe will need to fertilize that grass field again let's check nope it is pretty much fully fertilized all right never mind don't need to fertilize it hoping we fill up while we are on this side so again the bale does not drop where it'll be in the way yep I think that's what's gonna happen perfect I'm curious to know how many bales we've gotten so far just from driving around mowing field edges I've I've seen some other let's plays and stuff where you know people want to get into silage bales and have it be you know a productive money-making venture and things like that and they they go turn a field into a grass field and this is part of the reason why I don't I don't see a need for it look how many bales we've got just from mowing field edges and turning that what was a grass field originally just plowing it under and replanting it with grass so that we can fertilize it I, I mean how many you know obviously to make lots of money you want lots of silage bales but you can get quite a few silage bales just by doing this kind of stuff I'm not sure how necessary it really is to turn in one of your fields into grass for silage you would probably be much better off turning keeping it as a field planting corn and cutting that for silage all right that is that field edge done we still have more I want to do I still want to do around field 12 and really any other place I can find nice wide open space to cut grass but I also want to while we're at it while we're we're here we're kinda going around let's hop over here and see how this is doing 25% fermented so this might get done without us having to fast forward time which would be nice hop down to field 11 what do we got okay fertilize this won't take long it's not gonna make as much money either but it won't take very long so we might as well do it I really like it when they give you these fertilizer spreaders because you can get started pretty much right away where with the like slurry spreader you have to unfold you have to wait for the thing to unfold there we go and off we go trying to make full use of this turn gps on and get it going and then set it up yeah we're pretty pretty spot on there pat myself on the back here there we go nice job nice job Uh, let's see also I have glance on and one nice feature with glance is that it will tell you you can set it to different notification levels um, so right now I have it set so I can see basically everything I don't really want all that but if you take it down like one or two levels it will it'll also tell you when the animals are in need of something right now I've set it one level too low I think if I set it up the next one see chicken eggs pops up there in the upper left hand corner that's telling me that the chickens have filled up their you know egg capacity so I would need to go 
pick up the eggs. Now, I don't really care about the chicken eggs because they're not worth hardly anything anyway. That's just time that I don't really need to spend. But when the sheep need something or they get to a point where they're close to needing something, that should show up. Which is nice. We don't necessarily have to spend a lot of time checking back in on the sheep if we keep our eyes on that. All right, back on GPS there. Getting close. Won't be too much longer and this field will be done. Then we'll have to wait another growth stage to fertilize this again. And then we will be close to our maximum reputation. Then I guess we're going to have to make the decision on whether or not we... Buy the field without having max reputation with this guy. But when the crop is ready to harvest, or if we wait a whole nother season before we buy it. I don't know. I am not sure. When we get this field, I think I want to turn this into another silage field with corn. It's pretty close to the biogas plant, so I think that makes sense. Another $3,000 there. Don't worry, we are not going to go around doing tons of contracting. Oh, it is already fully fertilized now. So yeah, we will have no more jobs to do on this field before harvest comes up, and we're only up to there. Field values down to 153000 So assuming I'm correct in my silage calculations, we would be able to afford it. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to decide what to do. He's working away. He's actually almost done. Um, don't have anything for you to do right now. So let's fire this guy back up. This is going to be a little bit longer of an episode. We're not going to do probably everything that... All of the, the grass that I want to mow. We'll save a little bit for the next episode. But I do work our way around field 12 a little bit. Alright. Other implements. There we go. Oh, let's do a quick check. How many bales have we made so far? Eight so far this episode. And I still plan on mowing all this around field 12, including, see if I can get a mouse cursor up here, including this area. And these trees are some of the ones I plan on cutting down to open up that space, make it easier to mow for grass, and then we'll turn those trees into wood chips. The only down, downside I really see to wood chips is that they take a lot of work. Um, you got to move the logs and put them in the chipper. That's actually pretty easy. Uh, instead of cutting the trees up into lots of little pieces, you can keep them as basically the whole tree. As, as long as your tractor can pick it up, you can keep them as the whole tree and just put them in the wood chipper. Um, the problem is when you go to sell all of that. Now, the easiest way to do it would be to just wood chip right into a trailer. That way you don't have to come back and pick them up later. But then you either have to have a lot of trailers or you have to go sell it right away. And wood chips aren't really worth a whole lot. It's nice to wait for a great demand if you can. But then once you get the great demand you gotta be ready to sell them and it is a lot of work selling wood chips even the, the number of trees we have just around the farm uh it is numerous numerous trailer loads worth of wood chips so it's a lot of front loading work if you just chip it onto the ground Maybe we can think of a better way. If you guys can think of a good way to do it, 
then let me know. We may end up just wood chipping straight into a trailer and taking it off to sell it. My only problem is I'm afraid that's going to decrease the price of wood chips so much that it won't be really worth selling them anymore. And in this series with our lofty goal, we can't really afford to be giving away money. Oh, helper B is blocked by an object. I bet I know what that is. Oh, he figured it out. What a smart guy. Get out of the way. Case fertilizer tractor. Once those our other two fields grow, we are going to have a, a good amount of fertilizing to do. Let's see. I'm going to just, while we're again out of our mowing vehicle, do a quick check. Growth states. 13 is still in the first 12. Yep, all of them are still in the first growth stage. We will need to fertilize. 13, 12, and 15 again once the growth stages change. But they've got to change first. We are, I think we're, we're finally at a point on this farm where we are in good shape to make money. We've got the equipment to make silage from corn. We've got the equipment to make silage bales out of grass. We've got the, we've got larger equipment to be able to work fields. And we are close to being able to purchase another field. I'm liking where we're at. I feel good about where we are at. We just, we just need to be able to actually sell some of it and make money. We've got crops sitting in storage that uh, aren't really making us money at the moment. But we're almost to the end of this day, and I think, hopefully, day three, we will start to see some great demands coming in. Hopefully, hopefully, they're great demands for stuff that we actually have and can take advantage of. Watch the great demand, first great demand come in will be for, like, I don't know, wood chips or something, and we won't have any of them to sell, but... Helper B completed their task. All right, that field is fully planted, it sounds like. I am going to finish up this. There we go. Unload it. We'll go take the cedar and put it back somewhere. We'll go store it up in our shed. Not going to be using it again for a while. And you know what else we really need? Ah, I, I hate to spend the money on it because it doesn't really bring value to the farm whatsoever. But we really kind of need a pressure washer. Our equipment looks so terrible because it's so dirty. Unfortunately, see, they really should. I mean, the pressure washer costs like five grand. It's like a commercial grade pressure washer. They really ought to add some sort of value to actually washing your vehicles. You know, like if you leave your vehicles dirty, their value decreases faster or something like that. There's lots of stuff. There is a lot. Oh, that field withered. That's funny. I don't think I've ever seen a field wither before. When the when it was owned by, you know, the the AI. Huh. I want to go see. What was it? Oh, man, it was sunflowers, too. Wow. That is a lot of money. Gone. And you just got to plow it under. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I think that's where we're going to call it an episode. I want to go back to my mowing tractor. But we're going to call it an episode there. We have now bailed... Uh, 11 grass bales. That's going to be 11 silage bales. It's going to bring us in a nice little bit of money. What I'm going to do off screen, I'm going to continue mowing. And then when we come, when we start the next episode, I'll show you how many bales we've got, where I'm, where all I mowed and everything like that. So you guys have an idea. And then we'll go sell those and bring some money into the farm. 
because if we go look at our financials, so far, day one, we were negative $795,000. Now, we did get the million dollars from the gold nugget, so we weren't actually negative that much. However, the million dollars isn't ever going to happen again. So, we need to start looking at that. And then today, we were negative $119,000. We need to start turning that around and actually making some money. Uh, so we will do that in the next episode where we sell these silage bales. Until then, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends. Share, share it with your friends. Um, and I will see you in the next episode.